something clearly works about this friendship. What do you guys love about working together? We're just good friends, man. It's like, we it's get good along. energy. What's the story of Ferdinand the Bull? Uh, that often people are misunderstood. It is our pleasure to be joined by Andy Grammer. Hello. So good to be here. Hey, Laura with you on the red carpet for Matt Damon's new film, Elysium. What do you think the key sort of take home thing is about it? Well, first and foremost, it's got to be really entertaining. I think we just need to quickly draw attention to the fact that Auntie Laura and Addison and I think Aaron made the ultimate Milo, Alan. One of them, starting with A. No, it doesn't matter unless it's a boy. How did it feel revisiting Margot? She's a little bit older in this film. Was it kind of a different approach for you? Yeah, definitely. It was fun getting to play her character a little older because she has her first love interest. Hello, I'm Laura Bennett. Every health fad has its time, but most of them sell themselves on being good for our well-being. Psychologist and parenting expert Colette Smart is with us. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. We do hear this term as well when, it, when we come to conversations around mental health. Can you elaborate on that? I think people who are certain are the least interesting people. Mm. Um, and you're probably making one of the first Christmas movies to talk about Brexit and immigration <laughs> yes. and include all of those sorts you of things. You take it all there. on, exactly. Why did you go there? I, Tonya, may be getting award nominations in the musical comedy category, but it's really because you're either going to laugh or you're going to cry. And I realise that I'm the shortest one in the room every time I talk to you guys. Yeah. Oh. But oh, you're so tall, thank though. you. <laughs> wow, I feel really special. So a few people have wanted to know a little bit more, a little bit more, a little, a little bit, bit more. more. <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah. This is a little welcome to Australia pack. Awesome. And I found. There yeah. is. <laughs> and you know what? I actually have some Vegemite that I prepared earlier. Oh no! Um, see. <laughs> genre is hugely popular right now. Does this offer anything different? It is actually quite different. Today we're talking with the global senior pastor of Hillsong Church, also the founder of Hillsong Church, Brian Houston. Hello. Taking us back to the beginning of Corn, what was it that you actually wanted to achieve with the band when you started out as a young teenager? It was all ego. The first couple of things that make for a great interview is obviously to listen. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. So we are here with Stan Walker. Good to have you. It's good to be here. What do you think somebody looking back at the way we live might be really surprised by or shocked to hear? But like mortal engines, it's like Catherine said, she got, you know, how, how could a how could a civilization that was so scientific um, you know, sort of, you know, um, destroy itself? We've just been in theatre witnessing miracles take place. About four people went through in the space of 15 minutes. Cataracts removed. Amazing to see what your $32 does. 